Hello, it's Nick James here from the Internet Marketing Training Club and also from the WP Download Page Protector. In the previous video, I showed you how to make all your settings uh, so the plugin will work with ClickBank to protect your download page. In this particular video, I'll show you how you can do the same thing with a JVZoo. The first thing we need to do is we need to go and add a new page to our website. In this case, I'm going to call it uh, Thank You. Uh, page for pay, um, sorry for JVZoo, and in here we'll say thank you for your purchase. Uh, click here to download your product or what have you. Now, of course, you can spend a lot more time spending on the uh, copy for your particular thank you page. Um, as previously used, I'm just going to just create a link to. Uh, google.com to create a link. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down this page and we're going to get, turn on the, the WP download, uh, download page protector. Just clicking the yes button and in the drop down box we'll click JVZoo. Once that's there we'll just go back up and click on publish the page and this is the URL, the permalink for the page um, but if we went and click on view page hopefully we're going to see the restricted page because we actually haven't arrived at this page through the purchase gateway in this case JVZoo. So let's just click the back button and what we'll do is we'll just right click over view page and copy that link location and that's going to be entered into our JVZoo um, product details for where the customer will actually go to once they've visited um, JVZoo and PayPal made their purchase. So let's go and take a quick look inside JVZoo now. Now we're logged into the JVZoo account. The first thing we're going to do is go to My Account. Uh, when the drop down list appears, we're going to go to My Account again. And here on this page, we also need to make sure that there's a secret key or what JVZoo called a secret JVZ IPN in place as well. Now I've already set that here. Um, on this particular menu. In fact, I've used the same uh, secret key for simplicity here. Um, as I say, I will be changing this um, and I hope that your secret key is much more complicated and harder to guess than what I've used here. Um, but I've used the same QWERTY 12345. I'll just copy that uh, and click on Save. And I'm going to go back to my WordPress site for now and I'm going to go to Settings and the settings for the WP download page protector and just make sure that we've also got that secret key put in here as well and then we'll press save. So back on JVZoo then, uh, let's go to our product dashboard. I've already got a test product set up so I'm going to go to home and then the seller dashboard and I'm going to go and make some changes to that test product. Scroll down a little bit here we go, it's Nick's test product. So I'm just going to click on edit. And on this page, we'll just quickly through, run through the settings we have on here. Firstly, allow sales, yes. It's got to be set to, to yes um, to make sure that people can purchase your product. Um, show in marketplace, well, as this is a test product at the moment, I'll set to no, but you might want to do that. Everything else is pretty self explanatory in here the name of the products, the currency the price of the product I've just got it set in here at um, five dollars uh, at the moment um, just as, a, as like a demo test how much you want to pay affiliates etc 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 support email address the landing page um, or the sales page um, well we're in this demo um, WordPress site at the moment so I've added that in there for the um, for the sales page and then this is where we get important is talking about the delivery method. The first thing is we're using a thank you page as the download method, not protected download. Um, whilst the WP download page protector will protect your thank you page, it's worth noting it's not the protective, protected download option we want to select here. We definitely want to make sure that's on a thank you page. The other important thing is, as well is to make sure, not sure if you can see it, but this little grey tick needs to be in this box here um, that says pass the parameters to the download page. 
so make sure that's ticked and if you click on this link here um, it gives you all these scientific instructions programming instructions you don't need to worry about that um, that's what this plugin makes easy for you so um, don't worry about clicking that link but what you do need to do is make sure that um, when we have our page and we've got our page here for jvzoo we've taken the link for that page we've copied that link URL that location and we put it into this box over here on the um, settings just here whatever your return period is you can put it in there standard return period for most products is 30 days and I'd also suggest ticking the box that says make my product eligible for product of the day then we go to the bottom and we don't need anything in these extra boxes down here unless you want there to be on the right hand side yes check out with uh, with PayPal if you want things to be in the um, the marketplace then you need to enter those details in here since I've set this to show marketplace no all of these settings here won't take effect um, I don't want to make it a dime sale so I'll leave that empty I don't want any autoresponder integration so I'll leave that empty and the webinar and the retargeting I'm leaving all these empty for now all of these uh, options will be shown to you through the various JVZoo uh, functions that are out there but for now everything here can be absolutely blank okay so if you want to use any of these you're more than welcome to it won't affect um, the plugin that we're using here then we'll click on save product and once we've saved that product and we get the success message scroll down to the bottom and what we're going to do is we're going to create a test purchase link so we'll click on the blue test purchases button we'll select our test product from the drop down list and we'll click on create test purchase code what that does is it gives us this extra hyperlink here where we can purchase our product for a penny or a cent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down and click on click uh, to check out with PayPal. It's got a couple of my other email addresses in there. Um, so the other important thing when you're making these test purchases are twofold. Firstly, if I just stop the video here for you and just explain. Firstly, you cannot purchase from yourself. Okay, so whichever um, PayPal address you have got set up um, within JVZoo you need to be making this test purchase from another PayPal account and the other thing um, that you may not realize that JVZoo have recently bought in that's equally as important and that is if your balance of your PayPal account that is linked to your JVZoo account is less than a hundred dollars then nobody can buy from you you need to maintain a balance of at least a hundred bucks in your PayPal account in order for your JVZoo account to work. Now it's pretty new, I'm not sure if you, you knew that, but you need to make sure that your balance is at least $100. And it's $100 in the US dollar currency as well. So okay, I'm gonna click on the pay button and I'm going to be given a confirmation message that my payment has gone through. So I'm gonna click on return and that's gonna return me back to JVZoo where I'm gonna see a JVZoo receipt just waiting for JVZoo there we go this is our JVZoo receipt as it says just here in blue and white so we can scroll down it tells you about a few of the other products that I've currently got live um, and then we click on the green button here it says access your purchase and when we do that we go back to the thank you page for JVZoo um, that's on our demo website and then we can click here to to download the product so that's how you make the um, the WP download page protector work with JVZoo if you've got any further questions you can always contact us support at eshowcase.net I would say that in the um, the, the common uh, frequently asked questions the common troubleshooting tips for uh, JVZoo are going to be these two things uh, number one have you got at least a hundred bucks in your PayPal account that JVZoo will pay into or not if you haven't deposit at least a hundred bucks in your PayPal account uh, in fact JVZoo may well tell you there's a warning that um, uh, you haven't got that the other thing to make sure is on your sellers dashboard um, when you go to your product and you go to edit that product let me show you again you need to make sure where it says delivery method you've got thank you page selected and also you're passing the parameters to that download page I'm sure you've put in the correct URL so um, check that box 
make sure it's set to thank you page and there you go you can protect your thank you page or your download page when somebody purchases from you when you're using wordpress and jvzoo thanks for watching talk to you soon bye for now